Hello everyone. It's nice to see you all from my virtual world. I'd like to also share these lovely, fantastic balloon of thanks that's been created by children in some of our settings. They really cheered me up this morning when I saw them. So I thought I'd share them with all of you. Again, a massive thanks for everything you're doing at home and following the guidance that we've been set. Over the weekend, I'm sure, unfortunately, you will have seen that there was quite a lot of negativity about schools. And I just know with what I believe and what you believe is that actually we're doing an awful lot for our families and our children and that we are trying to plan the best way forward. And that those views are not shared by the vast majority in our community. And that's what's important, our community. As I've said, we're continuing to plan, we have ideas, and schools will be contacting parents of the identified children for the extended provision that possibly may happen in June. I say may happen because, again, no decision has been made. We are just trying to inform parents of what we can offer, how we'll offer it, for them to make some of those decisions regarding their children. But as well, we continue to offer our key worker and identified group children at school now. And we want those children to still come and we encourage you to send those children to keep coming to our settings or if they haven't started to do so. That is for our key groups that we have identified and contacted you about. As ever, there are lots of different views. What we're trying to do is work out what's best, what's realistic, and be honest with you on what we can and cannot do, what we will endeavour to do, but also that we are all taking part in the way that we move forward. I know also lots of information has been sent regarding our learning and that this has been updated and I hope you're able to use this and the information you're being given to continue to support your children at this time. Remember, each of our schools will be dealing with the process individually but that we're working together to share ideas and to consult on how next stages are best met. But to each of our schools, as we've always said, this is on an individual community basis based on the needs of the community, the building and the staff. And I know you fully understand that. So hopefully this week you will get more information if your child's able to attend the extended offer if we do open and what that offer will be if we open. And I keep saying if we open because there has still not been a decision. But if we open to extend, you will get that information over this week and the next week. And decisions will be left for you to make in partnership with us for what we think is the best. I know things are difficult and I know people would like to just return to normal, but I think it's best we continue to follow the guidance, to do our best as a community, to ensure that we can reduce these rates of COVID-19 and that we can come back to that some form of normality we've all been talking about. Again, my heartfelt thanks to everybody. I hope you're all well. And if you do need help, please use the information systems we've set up in your schools or our helpline. Have a lovely week. Enjoy the nice weather. And if you can go and get some of that exercise, it really does help to get outside and get a bit more active. I look forward to speaking to you on Thursday. Best wishes to you all. 
and see you later.